What's going on Salt Store Nation? Today we are going to be talking about beach fishing carts. Now I've had a couple of you comment on previous videos that I've made about surf fishing and you've asked me what my beach fishing cart is, how I like it, what I like to put in it when I go surf fishing. So I thought I'd go ahead and give a review of the cart that I have, which is the Fishing Mate Junior, give you guys some specifications, talk about some modifications that I've made, and then I want to show you guys exactly what my loadout looks like when I take this cart to the beach and everything that I have in it. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing I want to talk about is the specifications of this cart. It's 14 and a half inches is wide and it's 38 inches long so if you've got coolers and things that you want to put in here that's the dimensions if you're wondering and in terms of how many rods it can hold it can hold five uh, but you can also put other types of gear in the rod holders as you can see this is something that comes with the cart this is a cutting board also has a little bait bucket that you know you can store cut bait shrimp things like that uh, some rigs if you've just recently cut them off it's got slots to hold a knife pliers and fishing shears and some different hooks things like that so this is a really useful piece of a equipment that comes with the cart and I tend to use it instead of you know put it to the side and bring an extra rod. Generally, I don't bring out more than three rods when I'm fishing, so there's a couple different rod holders that are open. Something else really cool about this cart is that it has a built-in ruler sticker onto it, which, you know, it doesn't cost too much to get one of these stickers, but it's really nice that they went ahead and included it. This handle comes with it. It's removable and it, when you store it in your car you can flip it around it makes it a little bit easier to manage and it does have the peg stand that you can adjust in terms of height when you're on the beach um, and then the tires that is the only thing that you're seeing right now on the cart that does not come standard these are the poly tires and I added these pretty recently um, I'll have a video up for you guys to show you exactly how to change these out but these make going around on the beach a lot easier they traverse through the sand a lot faster and these track a lot better than the pier tires that come standard with the cart so I know you guys are wondering what I like to load my car out with and what it looks like on an average day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that would look like right now. As you can see here, this is my entire setup. This is a little bit more than what I usually bring because I wanted to show you guys the capabilities uh, if I wanted to just, you know, bring out everything in the kitchen sink. So to just start off right off the bat, we've got some rod holders and these aren't typically the rod holders that I like to use, but I know that these are super popular. So I brought these out. Uh, these metal spike ones are great. In fact, if I was not going to use my preferred sand spike, I'd be using these. And then you've got just your basic PVC holder and these metal spikes fit nice and well into those PVCs and you can just slide them right on the side of your cart so they fit there really good. So let's go ahead and put these off to the side. Now, in terms of the actual sand spikes I like to use, these are my favorite. And you can find ones like these on Amazon where it's just a straight spike in the sand, but these like to sit higher up than the others do, as you can see the size comparison. Um, and it's a little bit easier to get into the sand with just a single rod. So I really like these for surf fishing. Um, and I usually only will have two rods out at a time. So I don't generally bring more than two sand spikes again today. I just brought these others so you guys could see. Now, what I will do is bring my cooler out. I generally don't keep fish uh, when I go inshore fishing, but on the beach, pretty much everything that you can catch is really good to eat. So I've got my two rods that I would be using for uh, my rod holders. These are gonna be my, my live bait or my dead bait rods. That I'm gonna put you know, a pompano rig on or a Carolina rig and cast these out. And then I've got one light tackle rod that I'm gonna go ahead and use to get the Spanish, the bluefish, things like that. Uh, just a little Daiwa ballistic with some 10 pound test. Uh, again, I have 10 pound test on one of these rods. It's gonna be my slinging rod that I can get out to that second sandbar with. And then I've just got a short rod right here that I'll, you know, it's 50 pound uh, braid, so it doesn't need to go out too far. Um, and it's just on a 10 foot rod. The other rod is a 13 foot. And uh, again, that's my rod that I wanna use when I'm throwing really far. This is my rod I'm using to get in that first trough or into a hole that's really close by. So uh, in terms of where I keep all my tackle, I just keep everything that I need in this bucket. This five gallon bucket is from Lowe's. It's a couple bucks probably the only thing that you need in terms of storage and I can keep you know a waterproof box right in here it holds some of my GoPro filming things um, and then my tray of tackle it's just a single tray that I keep every single little thing in and I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys so you can see but you know just just the essentials really I need some leads snap swivels barrel swivels a couple of hooks beads floats uh, some artificials like gotcha plugs goofy jigs a spoon and then I've got fish bites and all my rigs stay in this little trading card protector. Uh, I've got nine rigs in here, so it's just a nice little way to keep everything nice and compact. So everything that I need for the actual fishing side of things stays in this box right here. And then, you know, I've got some fishing shears, a bait knife if I do manage to catch something that I wanna cut up. And, you know, just a couple extra supplies, a set of pliers, extra leader, and anything else that I wanna throw in there, I can probably fit a little speaker if you want. And if I need to bring anything else out, you know, if I was gonna bring a sand flea rake or anything, I like to catch them with my hands, but I'd be able to just put it right here. So 
easy, easy storage for everything, nice and compact. I don't like bringing too much out just because it will bog things down. You don't want to have too much weight on your cart. You should be moving around if you're not immediately catching fish. So if you're not seeing fish in the vicinity, you know, you need to pack things up and move quickly and you can't do that if you have a lot of stuff weighing your cart down. So again, this is my setup. Uh, again, I really just bring out three rods. I don't see needing more than that. Um, and just a light tackle rod, two rods, you're gonna stick in some rod holders, and then you know you can cast out, catch whatever pompano, whiting, or other bait you need, and then you can do some light tackle fishing while you're waiting on a strike, or you can go looking for those sand fleas, whatever you need to do. So this is really everything you need for surf fishing. Again, I brought out two extra sand spikes that I usually don't, just to show you guys how they would fit on the cart, but everything is uh, for surf fishing that you need is just right here. So guys, that is gonna wrap up the review for this Fishing Mate Junior. If you guys have any other questions about this cart, please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if there's any other modifications that you guys would like to ask questions about, or you'd like me to test out on this cart, please let me know. I'd like to try these things out. That way I can share my experience with them with you guys, and we can create a good discussion about what the best modifications and additions to these carts would be. So guys, thanks again, and I will see you guys on the next video. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live so strong and wear the line today